Hi YouTube! This is Dot Hazel. And I'm going to show you around a little bit. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Well, this is my family altar. Yay! It's so pretty. Okay. This is what I use to burn spells in. And there's my goddess. I got her, got her at the Dollar Tree. <sighs> Same with my chalice. I uh, got my elements, my god candle, and my goddess candles. I got a little fairy house and a little libation bowl. And I got this at the Dollar Tree, too. I'm going to use it for um, affirmations. Yay! Okay. So there's my altar. And underneath my altar is where I keep my ritual supplies, my altar supplies. I mean, I have a lot of stuff, and this was this was originally here when we first moved in. They just left it, and I cleansed it and everything, and and it's beautiful. So I just kept it. Or my candles. I have a bunch of candles. I have more than that. Okay, that's heavy. I can get it shut now. There we go. Okay, and over here. My cat's playing with uh, one of the covers. Over here is where I have my coven mittens. Yay! Yay, coven mittens! Made those for midsummer. Hung them up. I thought it was so cute. Okay. And this room is nothing but windows. Yay! Hi there! <laughs> um, yeah. And down here is my witch's cabinet. Yay, a witch's cabinet. Welcome to Witch's Inn. Yay. Okay, let's see. This is my witch's cabinet. This is where I keep my herbs. Some parsley, garlic, hibiscus, nettles, ground cinnamon, and cloves, and sea salt, basil, rosemary, a whole bunch of stuff. And I got this mortar, if I'm saying that right, mortar, 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 yeah, mortar and pestle. It's tiny, it's so cute, I got it from eBay. This is why I stir my herbs in. And I mainly use herbs for like spells and magic. I don't really, I mean I do healing, I do, but I do healing like magically. I don't really, I make, er I, I make like herbal tinctures and stuff like that. But not as often as I do herb magic. So, yeah. And I have, I went out and got corn husks to make corn dolls. Lomas is coming up. Yay! Blessed Lomas. Okay. Down here I'm going to put up a drape of, of beaded curtain. Of, of a beaded curtain to separate the front door and the living room door to separate it because this is my magical room. I don't want people walking in my sacred spaces all the time. So I'm going to cut it off with that and then the room is going to be filled with like I'm going to get tapestries and all kinds of stuff. I just moved into this place so it's really bare right now. I'm not done with it. Nowhere near done. Okay. So yeah I had to tell you that part. I'm excited about it. Whew, sorry. I'm the only one holding this thing. don't have no help today. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about chakras and how to align, uh, how to align them. And Everyone has seven major chakras, and they're your they're your sacred centers where your energy flows in and out of your I mean, aura. And if your chakras are off balance or have any blockages from har uh, you know trying to harvest energy not a good thing. Do not try to harvest energy. It will just cause major blockages. Cause a lot of problems. But, um, well, if you have any blockages or anything like that, it can make life really hectic and make it really rough, really emotional, really overwhelming. Especially, you know, with your root chakra. If you're not grounded and you don't have, you know, your root chakra in good balance, you'll feel really jittery everywhere, you know, you can't sit still. And that's one of the symptoms of it. 
and you really, you know, go outside, get in nature, it'll help it. Or you can, you know, meditate or do yoga. Any kind of stances, you know, that has to do with having your feet firm on the ground. So, um, yeah. I will elaborate more on how to balance yourself. But that's all for now. And there will be more videos to come. Well, I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Blessed be.